Welcome. In front of me is a TCL 20SE, and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So starting off, we're going to begin with the gesture navigation, which will allow you to remove the buttons from the bottom and substitute them for, well, actual gestures. So let's get started by opening up settings, scrolling down to buttons and gestures, and then system navigation and select and gesture navigation. Give it a second and there we go. Now it does give us a little animation right here, just so we are aware how to use them. So going quickly over that, you swipe up to go home, swipe up and hold to go to recent and swipe from either side. You can see this will bring up an arrow to go back. Now moving on to the next option, it's the uh, NXT Vision, however you wanna pronounce that or read it. So let's quickly again go into the settings and it has its own category right here. And as you can see, it is a video or image improving option right here. Now on the camera, it might not look the best. Let me maybe quickly wipe the screen as well. So it's a little bit better visible now. But as you can see, what it does is um, it adds a little bit more contrast, uh, saturation, and just overall clarity to the, to the image. So what you can do here to enable it is simply toggle this on for image enhancing and also video and game if you want to continue this. And as well, we have the uh, well, presets right here, as you can see, if I go back, so color mode and temperature. This is the vivid one. We also have the uh, natural and advanced, which allows you to uh, customize the RGB yourself. So select whichever one you like the most. Now going on to the next option, it's gonna be the simple dark mode, which I believe can be accessed through the notification panel. Yep, there it is, so dark mode. So this will turn entire system into this dark mode. Give it a second and it is already enabled. Now on the home screen doesn't really look like much, uh, but when you start pulling down, for instance, like your notification panel, you can see that it is now completely dark that will also extend to default applications like dialer, messages, web browser, uh, settings, and so on, as you can see. So it's a fairly nice option. Now, I believe it also has additional functionality in here. Yep, so as you can see, once you go into the dark mode settings right here, under the display, you will have the option to set it up as a schedule, which will allow you to basically not care about it because personally, uh, for me, uh, during the night, dark mode is super good, but during the daytime, dark mode might not be the best option. In direct sunlight, it is sometimes hard to see with it on. So this will allow you to set it up so during the daytime, it is in light mode, and during nighttime, it's in dark mode. So you get the uh, best of both worlds. So anyway, moving on to the next option, it's gonna be the uh, lag screen customization, which, oops, I guess we can just go back to the settings anyway. And let's find the home screen and lock screen, and then you will have right here lock screen settings. So we have lock screen style. We have between two different ones. We have the TCL uh, default one, or we have the classic, which is the typical Android one. So select whichever one suits you more, whichever one you like more. Then we also have like notifications on lock screen. So we can switch what kind of notifications are shown on there. Also, if you want to see the uh, little shortcuts on the lock screen that you can quickly access uh, certain apps, you can have them on or off if you don't want them. And lock screen message, I can add some kind of uh, note to the lock screen. So as an example, if you lose your device, you can set up, for instance, your contact information right here. And every time someone tries to access the device, even though they, for instance, don't know the pattern, they will see this message and will know who to contact, assuming they want to return the device. And we have a couple additional settings, which you can go over and see if you like them anyway. So moving on to the last option, it's going to be the home screen style instead of the lock screen. Uh, now in here we have a couple options. So let's go to the home, uh, home settings. And we have uh, primarily things like the home screen uh, style, which is my go to option right here. And right now we have the uh, home, uh, home and app drawer, 
but you can change it to the only home screen. Uh, now, if you're not aware of what this means, uh, what it does is the home screen and drawer means that you have the home screen as we do have right now. And app drawer, when you pull up, you have all the applications accessible from here. But if you decide to go with just the uh, just the home screen, there won't be any app drawer, so all the applications will be, as you can see, on your home screen instead. And there is no app drawer anymore. So this is more mm, similar to what I, like an iOS device, an iPhone, where you have most of your applications on your home screen. You can create folders and stuff like that, but there is not really any app drawer. Well, the first one that we had before uh, is well the typical Android experience with an app drawer. But anyway, this would conclude all the tweaks and tricks I wanted to share. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.